In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a simple and fun activity using your Bitmoji. Hi, it's Sam here from Teacher Sam, the channel that helps make your teaching life that little bit easier. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit that like. The name of the activity is Dress My Emoji as the students need to dress my emoji. I will help you create the images of the clothes transparent and also help you create the slide necessary to move the clothes around the screen. So let's get to it. Okay, so I'm gonna create this activity using Keynote, but you can also create it using PowerPoint or Google Slides. As you can see, I've already added in the fitting room, the emoji and the text, dress me and some images. Everything I will do with Keynote, you can do with Google Slides. Also with Google Slides, you can share it uh, with maybe parents and they can do it with their, with their children. But today I'm gonna do everything with Keynote, but it is the same process. Um, so the first thing we need to do is get the fitting room, then the emoji, and then get all the images of the clothes in a transparent format. I will show you how to create transparent images. Um, I'll be doing that with Keynote and also with a website. I'll show you that later. The first bit is, the first stage is to get the fitting room. So let's go to a browser and get the fitting room. You can choose any fitting you want, any design, that's not a problem. I'm gonna go with this one here, the same one. I'm gonna right click my mouse and I'm gonna copy image, not download it. Uh, I'm gonna just copy it. I'm gonna go back to my slide, which is Keynote or Google Slides, and I'm gonna Command and V on a Mac, which will paste the image in. There you go, I'm gonna reduce the size. Excellent. And now I'm gonna get my emoji and I'm gonna copy and paste that in. Perfect, reduce the size of my emoji a little bit. So it's, it's to scale, excellent. The next step would be to the name, which is Dress Me. I've called this activity Dress Me. You can give it any name you wish. Dress me. I'm going to give the, the text here now. I'm going to press format here and give it a border. So press style, border and line. I'm also going to increase the text size as well, the, the font size, make it bigger and also change the font to a better font. Okay, cool. Put in the center. Okay, excellent. Okay, I'm gonna give the actual fitting room also a border as well. But again, you can design it any way you wish. Uh, this is just uh, an example. Um, okay, let's make a box. Put at the bottom here. Okay, excellent. Change the color, click style. It's a nice color. Uh, let's give the box also a border. Cool. Let's put a text. Sam is wearing. Okay, it's taking shape. Okay, so now we need we need the clothes. Um, okay. Uh, all the clothes are in transparent format. Um, I'm gonna show you now how we can make them transparent. And I'm gonna show you how to do it with Keynote and with a website. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is get the clothes. And I have a folder, which is here. So I'm gonna get the cap, for example, uh, and let's put this into our Keep our slide and put it in. As you can see, the image is not transparent. There's a background. So let's remove that now. So 
how we do it, what we do is we click image and click instant alpha, or you can use this alpha key here. Okay, so click alpha, and now your cursor will turn into a kind of target. Now you have to, on your mouse, click the left button, don't click, you click it and hold it down. And then all this, the, the background goes maybe gray or bluish in my case. Now, as you can see, the border of the cap is still kind of, it's not fully uh, transparent yet. You have to move your mouse up and increase the percentage. Now, as you can see, the border disappears, making the cap completely transparent with no background. When you rele release that now, and then press done. Perfect, I have a complete, I have a cap which is completely transparent. Let's reduce the size. Click arrange and rotate it. As you can see, my emoji is looking to his left, almost, my right. So let's flip the cap. There we go. Perfect size. I'm gonna give that maybe, I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna rotate it a little bit as as my emoji is too cool for school. There you go. Okay, perfect. Put that there. Let's give it a name, a cap, good. Or a baseball cap, for example. Uh, text, give it a different font. Increase the size if you wish. Make it the same size as your other. Well, I'm gonna increase that as well, actually, to maybe Better. So that's 40, 43 and make the cap also 43. Okay, excellent. So that's that's how you create a um, transparent image using Keynote. I'm going to now go to a web page where you can do the same. It is It can be slightly quicker, but if you're already in Keynote, you can obviously use the alpha function very quickly and make it transparent. So let's go. To, let's get go to the web page. The web page is called Remove Image. Well, it's called Remove BG, and you can upload your image here, or you can drop in the file. So I'm going to go back to my clothes. I'm going to get my cap again, and I'm going to drop it in. Simple as that. It just turns it transparent. Perfect. Now to get to download a high resolution image, I think well you have to sign up. And there's also a pricing plan depending on what it is. So I don't need a pricing plan. I just need to, as it's quite small anyway, I just need to download it uh, as it is. That downloads to my downloads folder. Oh, that's not. Oh, let's drag that into my keynote. There we go. So now you can uh, make an image transparent using Keynote, or you can make an image transparent using um, Remove um, on that web page. Okay, we need to keep putting in the images in your classes. What I did, I used Zoom, and my kids told me uh, what I was wearing. So they they would say, "Sam is wearing a cap," or maybe you can change that, and maybe you can use it as you're wearing. Yeah, you're wearing, so Sam, you're wearing a cap. I can do that, cool. What you can do with also with Google Slides, um, once you do complete it here in the same way, then you can obviously share that with parents maybe and they can use on their tablet. I've tried it myself and you can move it with your finger, which is great, so it can be quite interactive. Um, another idea that I did have is you can have more slides. So what you could have, you could have maybe a cap shop and you can have all different caps. Another, another uh, shop could be the, glass, the, the sunglasses shop and just have, have all sunglasses. I do find the, the cap and the sunglasses to work really well. Um, whereas, in, whereas um, for example, the, the jacket, I mean, you're just going over the image. It doesn't look that great. But my, my students did laugh, uh, they did enjoy it, 
but the the boots work quite well um, the sunglasses work really well as you can see uh, the skirt worked really well as well and also the shorts let's try the t-shirt t-shirt works okay but again it's just the they they find it fun um, and we are obviously I am re I am practicing and recapping the vocabulary for them and also uh, sentence structure as well um, so yeah that's it I hope you enjoyed the video any questions leave them below uh, also download the link of the uh, transparent images of the clothes and that's it uh, I hope you like the video please subscribe uh, leave a like and thank you for watching